Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Power of Collectibles. Pedro here. Angela. And now today, um, like we talked about in the last episode, Angela is going to go to Hot Topic and pick up that check. So I'll let Angela start off this video with her adventure to Hot Topic. And before you show, you got to tell us a little so bit. So I was going to take you guys with me, but my phone was dead. So I didn't even get a chance to, you know, like record or take you guys with me. I did record a little bit, but it was only like two minutes, so it's not even worth it. It was just me getting in the car, getting off the car. But I was at work, guys. But yeah, I didn't take him with me because he was at work. And well, I got there like at like ten twenty. I didn't get there like at ten because you know I wanted to sleep some more. But Sleepy I walked ass. in and I didn't see them. But I was like, I'm gonna walk in the back and like I see them on. They had a few. I already see like two guys walking out with three of them and I'm like, wow, really? This one of me, man. You know, we buy one because we're just trying to collect. But man, you flippers out there, shame on you. Yeah. As a collector, you should know to give other people a chance. But I'm going to let Angela continue. So I'm going to show you my pop now. The one that I got. I already have them over here because he deserves a spot. Are you going to open this one? I haven't even asked you. I already had already opened them. Oh, dang. I guess we're going to get to see the opening for this one. I opened them like three times. One for me to play with and then one because I showed my mom because she likes Chucky. <laughs> but this is him. It's Chucky on the cart. He's from Child's Play 2. I don't know if you guys remember the scene, but toward the end where like, um, they mess him up and he ends up being on the cart because he gets through a machine and this is how he transforms. Right, let's take him out. I'm excited for this one. I, I love need... them, honestly. Like, I thought about taking them on display, but I think I'm just going to keep them in here. i only seen him inside the box, so this is my first time seeing it outside. It's a nice pop. I just love how, like, he just stands on the cart, like, perfectly. You guys show in the back of it. His That's arm. Like... I'm not there yet. Oh, my bad. His arm, which is, like, all cut off. He inserted the knife himself. I, I don't know if you guys remember that scene, but... He was like, you know, I'm going to insert this. And he started screaming because it hurt him. But this is the back of him. All cut off. I don't know if you guys can see that. But his body's gone. It's just, you know, his waist. And, yeah. But I just really love him. I love how, like, they make him all bruised and bloody from here. The back especially because, you know, it looks all, like, gutted. And just looks amazing. He's my favorite. Now, I really like this one because... Correct me if I'm wrong, because Angela's the Chucky expert here. But he doesn't get the scars till the third movie, right? He doesn't get them till Bride of Chucky, where Tiffany recreates them, staples him, sews them. Yeah, so that's why I think it's super cool about, like, this Chucky and the one before this one. That yeah, they don't have the scars. It's kind of the regular Chucky, but it's still, the you know, the killer Chucky. So, you know, it adds on to it. But I really like... It's cool when he has the scars, but I think I like him better when he doesn't have the scars. Just because... He looks more like a regular dog. He doesn't really look evil, you know? Once he has the scars, it gives you more of a creepy vibe from it. But he looks more innocent like this. So I really like, you know, the young face. I mean, the non-scarred face with him bleeding um, from his forehead, his eye, his nose. And just the design overall. Like he's on the cart, like Angela said. It's a great... It's a great addition to the collection. Even my dog loved him. He was, like, sniffing him. He kind of wanted to put him in his mouth. But I was like, no, no, no. Take it easy. All right, we weren't fully going to do an episode on this one, on this Hot Topic episode, but Angela did find something else. Yeah, I found something else, and I was like, you know what, I got to take it for Pedro, because Pedro's going to love him. Yeah, I really, w I've been wanting it. I was going to buy it off offer up, but I wasn't sure yet. But and I guess they only Angela, had one. They only had one. They only had one of these, and the way Angela had to get him was, uh, basically, she was lined up to buy him. She saw... She saw the one that I wanted in the back, like on display. So she went around everybody and took it out from the back. And I guess some people online were saying like, Oh, what? Like, that's the one I wanted. Now, it's not a horror one. It's an old one they had before. It's not new. Some of you guys may have it. But since we barely started collecting like about two, three months ago. Apologies, guys. Our dogs, you know, someone just rolled through. So, of course, I got to go hand barking. But... Nonetheless, I'm really excited with this. It's Golden Shenron from Hot Topic. I've been wanting this one. Of course, I do want the original better, but I did still want this one. This one I'm open. If I ever get the original, I'm definitely not opening this one. But I just really like this one because it's all gold. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up for you guys. And this is why we're doing this video because I feel like this was an awesome find. And plus we got a new addition which is Chucky. Oh here, I'll take it off from the top. Here. Shout out to Angela for this one. I wasn't even there. She just picked it up with her own. Yeah, I was like, you know what? Should I take them? But then I was like, you know what? Pedro's gonna love them. I know he wants them. There's only one. And I don't know where I'm gonna come across another one. Wow, this one, this one's pretty heavy. Honestly, this takes ranking for number one. I said I really liked our Hulk Buster <laughs> and Hulk. I think that's our number two right now. But honestly, Angela, finding this today was just so amazing. So we just had to make a video about it. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this. But, you okay there? You're not falling? <laughs> you guys saw that? I know I wasn't the only one. I'm really into what, looking at it. Since I haven't opened it, I, I, I got to look at it myself. It's super cool. Of course, it's all golden. It has the Dragon Balls at the bottom. Honestly, looking at this pop, it doesn't fully look like, you know, it would be a Funko Pop. But, it is. And, honestly, probably one of my favorite ones in my collection right now. Uh, alongside with uh, spider Hulk. And our, what else is it? Oh, my Venom collection. <laughs> yeah, I love my Venom collection by far. But yeah, this one was super amazing. So yeah, this is why we had to make a video today. I was just so hyped oh, up wow, on this fun. Yeah, like yeah. I said. And then it's we like found the Chucky weight. today too. This one's for sure going on display. I like how it has all, all seven Dragon Balls in the bottom. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I even have a tattoo on me about Dragon Ball Z. But... Amazing piece. I was super happy Angela bought this one when she brought it home. I, well, when she showed it to me, better yet, I was super amazed. So I'm pretty happy with this one. So we just had to make a video on this for you guys. But I know this has been a short one. Like always, I'm Pedro. Do you have anything else to say, Angela? Nope, not this time. All right, so that's it. Angela? And I'm Angela. All right. Uh, subscribe, leave a like. Like, comment. Comment, whatever you want to do. But just subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.